Hello guys, welcome to my channel and to a new video. This is part 1 in the series of recreating the best of Clipchamp online video editor using Filmora. Every video creator needs the best effects, graphics, and as many as we can have. But then you may not get all of them in a specific video editing software being ready to use. Which means they can be ready to use in another video editing software. Yet in another software you will need to create them yourself. That's what we are doing in these series. Looking the best ready to use in Clipchamp video editor and create them in Filmora. And in this video, we are specifically going to create this nice circle transition. Well, am I sounding something you like? Then support the channel by subscribing. Here is Clipchamp Video Editor. When you open it will be looking like this. I will leave a link in the description for the Video Editor website. You can press here to import your files. And drag and drop the two files. Then go transition then right here we are taking this one, the circle transition. Well, this is how it looks let's go back and start creating it. So now the first thing open the track manager and add 4 video tracks. Drag two videos you want to make this transition into the timeline. Move this video to the above track and let it overlap like this. So the overlap is for 15 frames, so you can use your keyboard arrows to count. You can cut split here on the video below. and here on the video above. On the video above, go mask, and choose the circle shape. Make it a nice circle, and then reduce the scale to 9.90. Then add a keyframe. Count 10 frames the keyboard arrow. Then adjust your scale like this. Copy the second part and paste it on the third track. Copy the effect of the video in track number 2. then paste on this number 3. So that means we have copy and paste the same mask except the keyframes. Then go to mask properties set the scale of this to 6.25. Add a keyframe, then after the same duration, set the adjust the scale like this. So now we have something like this. The animation has taken 10 first frames. And the next animation is going to take the remaining 5 frames. So then, on the middle video, split it on one off frame. Then copy this second part. Paste it on the track above, the fourth track. So now we want this video to fill the remaining part of the screen. Now we move our playhead to the end. Then increase the mask scale like this. Then on the preview window you will see the adjustment. So we want to animate the above video to cover this video. Then move your playhead to the end. Then increase the mask scale like this. Let's render and check the preview. Our transition is done. What do you say with these series guys? Let me know in the comment section. Let's meet in another video.